Since Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EP2 patch dropped for Wave 1 midweek last week, there's been some new information pertaining to what CIG has been working on in regards to Star Citizen, and I'm going to catch you up in this video pertaining to those new developments. So CIG has been working on planetary navigation, which has been completed with the team now being able to generate navigation meshes over entire planets. That is good progress. So now that was for AI, for animations. The animation team has been working on space cows, a medium sized bird and a predator wolf like creature. It's going to get very interesting with these new creatures coming in in Star Citizen, really exciting stuff, as well as several new vehicle entrance animations has also been done. For Also for character art, they're working on exploring specialist armors to be added into the game. For ship art, they've done progress on the RSI Zeus, gray box was completed and all functionality has been validated with the ship currently in beauty and polish stage. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see the RSI Zeus in this maze event Invictus I am almost super confident that it will be shown there the Anvo Legionnaire is in white box complete with the team currently waiting on gameplay validations for the for art to free up before they send it to full development so that's going to be the hacking mechanic associated with that and being able to attach to other ships as well I'm really curious to see how this will work out. The team's work on the resource network has begun with 10 new ships nearing completion and some of which received updated list of ship items. So now that's going to be the relays and fuses and, and, and things of that nature. So now they've updated um, work on legacy ships continue as well with updates to the dash, cockpit and some exterior housing. I would assume the RSI constellation might be one of those ships but i also believe that they are working on probably a mach 2 of the rsi constellation so also in the core gameplay they made a few updates as well it says work continue on pre-production for base building this is a big one with gameplay feature working closely with art and design to refine requirements and define metrics for master modes improvements to aiming and targeting for the gunnery system were completed and ESP saw further improvements including smoother response to player input. Work continue on the resource network as part of this electromagnetic emissions are not based on power consumption and infrared emissions are based on coolant and heat generation. That is awesome. A temporary solution for ship hull penetration has been added until Millstorm is ready to support physical ship armor so an example of this is right now in 3.23 um, laser weapons can penetrate a little bit um, for now until they get this tech in for life support the team optimized the dynamic room atmosphere system and made it network compatible so that's going to be the next step in terms of engineering gameplay in the near future for transit the team's primary focus in March was supporting cargo elevators and instant hangars alongside general refactoring. This required um, adding hangar destination export and communication between the transit and instance managers for available hangars and the ability to dynamically add destinations to transit carriages. Uh, request for the creation of hangars and support for capturing peripherals and dynamically add hangers man that is interesting so um most of us know that the uh, hangers have been pulled from 3.23 i'm not sure if it's going to be um added back again before release or if it's going to be pulled until maybe a 3.23 x patch but currently it's not in the build right now that's currently available to wave one testers and evocati so Hopefully it does make it. I'm really looking forward to um, having my own personal hangar and using that. So uh, more progress on hangers and include instance interior manager that handles instance logic and reserves gateway for 
transitioning between outside world and hangars. Now players calling an elevator or retrieving a ship in a supported location will create an instance hangar that the transit air traffic control and law system. Interesting. So progress on reputation based hostility with the team fixing several issues with the new reputation system. So under economy, the economy team continued rebalancing commodities and making sure they have a scalable algorithm that will work with other systems like crafting. Super excited for crafting, which will be coming in with base building. Really excited for that. Uh, mission rewards are being rebalanced according to the difficulty and time required to complete them. Um, under graphics VFX programming in Planet Tech, the Planet Tech team started work on Planet Tech V5 with initial focus on groundwork required to set up spatial partitioning. Anybody know what this means? Let me know in the comments below. Locations, it says location T polished content for Star Citizen 4.0. They also closed out the upcoming distribution centers, adding content and quality to give players the best possible experience on launch. The team also kicked off a pre-production of the new mandate officially beginning in Q2. So it looks like new gameplay features that they're going to be adding and that's going to be interesting to find out what that is. Under the mission design, work progressed on the upcoming cargo hauling mission with players being tasked with hauling tracked goods from one location to another as requested by shipping company. Interesting. This is one of the things I'm really looking forward to, to be able to haul cargo, um, mainly from one system to another. So I'm really looking forward to Pyro to be able to haul goods between the two systems, at least initially. Under UI, the UIT began preparing mandate coming later this year including resource network and jump points and under vfx progress continued on jump point effects including concepting based on new gameplay considerations that become apparent during testing all right just let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video